Hey guys, it's your Uncle Shu again, back with a brand new video. Man, so a little bit of backstory. I was really into Skyrim for a very, very long time, since like 2011 or something. And then uh, ESO came out, but I never got into it. And uh, the reason why I never got into it is because I don't respect Bethesda and I don't want to give them money. And, um, you know, I think it's a shit company that is... Um, milking the same thing over and over and over I mean they released like what five versions of Skyrim like seriously that's when uh, I realized surely the uh, monetization system would have to be uh, immoral in ESO and uh, well lo and behold if you want to own the whole game you gotta sell a kidney or something cuz uh, yeah or you can pay them a monthly fee and then uh, you know yeah I, I'm really not uh I'm really not into the monetization system, but hey, the good news is I managed to get this game for free on Epic Game Store. That's the whole reason why I uh got into it anyway. So um yeah, here we are. We're gonna play a little bit of uh Um Fighters Guild quest here. I've never done this before. There's gonna be a lot of people there, but uh anyway, a couple of um observations that I have from the previous video a lot of people commented and especially people were very very upset at the fact that Uncle Shu managed to I don't know he's just uh, they, they just keep saying like Uncle Shu has changed he's not the, the same person anymore he keeps making video and videos in Romanian and in Japanese and we don't understand that shit and, well, first of all, you know, they come in to me in the street and they want to take pictures with me because supposedly they're my number one fan or whatever. Like, Bubby, I might be your uncle online, but, like, in real life, we're not friends. I don't want you to talk to me. I don't want you to stop me. Just, uh, you know, just lots of people. that They're just flying to Romania from all over the place and just having a fucking schizophrenic episode in front of me complaining that my videos have changed. Well, of course my videos have changed a little bit. I mean, I'm progressing. I just got into the YouTube game and my videos are uh, increasingly better and better. And um, yeah, that's that's basically what I wanted to, to talk about first and foremost. They're complaining about my videos. They're too philosophical. I should make more microwave reaction videos and things like that. But, you know, the microwave reaction videos, they're... They're not that well monetized, first of all, because it's like a different format. I have to give uh, the Daily Dose of Internet about 80% of my earnings from that video. So, yeah, you know, from uh, the $5 million that I earned from that video, I was left with like, what, like 200 k Like, it's not worth it, so my videos have to change a little bit, because right now what's trending is the more philosophical stuff, you know? And, uh, yeah, I mean, in terms of philosophical stuff... We've been talking about stoicism, we've been talking about suicide, we've been talking about uh, what religion, I think we were talking about the LGBT as well, and um, you know, ethics in general, which are all very, very cool subjects and stuff. But like, yeah, I, I, I don't get it, you know? There's a lot of people just, like seriously, like get a life, dude. Like you're, you're flying all the way to Romania just to you know, to find me on the street. I don't know who docks my address to begin with. But anyway, you know, just lot, lots of comments on the, on, on the last videos as well. People just being uh, absolutely schizophrenic about my uh, new format. Like, just deal with it, dude, you know, just, I just do what I want. This is, uh, this is like Filthy Frank said, if I want to get a haircut in the middle of the video, I'm gonna get a ha haircut in the middle of the video, you know. It's just, uh, yeah, it's just like that, you know. Man, this, uh, these points here, uh, you know, that I'm trying to capture, they really, uh, they really suck. Yeah, anyway, I don't know, I think I'm gonna recite some poetry now or some shit. Uh, well, let's, uh, let's see here. La circ, un accident banal, un acrobat, un salt mortal, și acrobatul nu s-a mai sculat. Alamurile din orchestra au tăcut, iar clovnii din arena au țipat, dar publicul din staluri n-a crezut că poate fi și un accident adevărat și a fluierat, zadarnic, mortul n-a mai înviat. Păcat de el, era un tânăr acrobat frumos, cu corpul tatuat de sus și până jos, de care publicul se minuna când îl vedea îndoit ca un inel, 
sau când pe bara fixă se învârtea ca o murișcă de cafea cu balerina lângă el, dar balerina nu-l iubea. Povestea lui, hmm, povestea mea, a mea, a ta și a altora, același accident de circ banal, o zi relache și apoi la fel, cu aceeași balerină lângă el, alt acrobat, alt sart mortal. I hope you all enjoyed this poem. I made this poem in my previous life when I was uh, Ion Minulescu himself. I know y'all don't believe that I was Ion Minulescu and I probably wasn't, but uh, I'm just gonna say I was because, uh, you know, I just, uh, who knows, maybe I was, so I'm gonna assume that I was, okay? Anyway, uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe and share this video with your family, but don't show it to your spouse because I am tired of uh, uh, so many married women coming to me and asking for, uh, you know, I'm not going to say it. Uh, yeah, yeah it's, it's very uncomfortable. Please don't do that anymore. Just keep the women away. Uh, I know people, a lot of people call me a misogynist, but uh, when you get to in my position, you're you're gonna have a different outlook on life. I promise you. I know y'all don't have any women, don't have any uh, any sort of experience that I do, so this is normal for me. But uh, yeah, anyway, yeah, the, I'm I'm getting off track again. I wanted to say just uh, just like and subscribe and donate to my Patreon. Uh, give me uh, five million dollars. Thank you.